so you guys can have it. And therefore, also, if you missed last class period, you'll have a nice little quick little recap for you. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll go through and we'll try to finish up the rest of these problems. So the problem first asks, this is what we're going to call kind of part one of these type problems. The problem asks, find the value of c that is going to help us complete the square, or give us a perfect square. So all we need to do for this problem, if you guys remember, all quadratics can be formed in a to the n squared plus bn plus c. A lot of times we use x, but in this problem we have n. Remember, all it is is b divided by 2 squared. This is part one. So all you're going to take is your b divided by 2 and square it. So here I have 1 half divided by 2. 1 half divided by 2 squared. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I do not want any decimals. So how do we do 1 divided by 2 or 1 half divided by 2? All right, how are we going to finish that off, Katie? Well, what we can do is get this off the bottom is multiply by its reciprocal and we multiply on the top and bottom. Therefore, any number multiplied by its reciprocal, we know multiplies out to 1. 1 half times 1 half is equal to 1 fourth. Therefore, I'm going to have 1 fourth squared, which equals 1 over 16. Negative so the one. value, it's a neg negative 1 half, negative 1 fourth, but negative 1 fourth is still going to give you a positive 1 over 16. So therefore, we could say the value of c that is going to complete our square is n squared minus 1 half n plus 1 over 16. So for part one of these problems, that's all you had to do. Then.